What's up my friends and welcome to another video and as you know or as you may not know I love intermittent fasting. Um, it's something that really helps me do a couple things. One, stay lean without much effort. Um, two, it really helps my digestion and assimilation of food. And so what does that mean? Both of those things lead to me being more healthy, more happy, more vibrant. Um, this video today is about the three biggest and most common mistakes that my friends, clients, and people make while trying to see results on intermittent fasting. So let's jump right up into it, shall we? Yes. Mistake number one while doing intermittent fasting is not eating enough calories. So if you normally in a full day eat 2,000 calories or somewhere around there, during your feeding window with intermittent fasting, you still want to eat 2,000 calories. You don't want to drastically lower your calorie count. Why? A couple things happen. When you do intermittent fasting and then you eat small meals, your metabolism never has a need to really burn or turn on. So when you fast for 16 or 17 hours per day or one day per week, if you're doing eat, stop, eat style, um, when you do eat, you want to eat a lot. You want to eat good, healthy calories and eat enough. That will turn your metabolism on, raise your body heat, and it will give you the nutrients you need to gain muscle and lose fat. Okay, the second most common mistake is that when people start getting on intermittent fasting, they start seeing results right away, and they think, well, maybe the quality of my food doesn't have to be as high or as good as it used to be because, you know, I'm using the fasting technique. Um, this is a big mistake. When you're doing intermittent fasting, make sure you're still eating really high quality foods, organic, fruit and vegetable based with clean proteins and healthy fats. Um, it's a must. If you use intermittent fasting with a bad diet, you definitely will not see the results that you would if you eat really clean and intermittently fast. Um, and the third mistake that a lot of people make is kind of an interesting one, and, and this one can be debated, um, but this is what I found to be the truth and has worked well with me and many of my clients. If you choose to have your feeding window early on in the day, so let's say that your feeding window is like from 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock or something like that, um, and you, you take in your last meal at around 5.30 or 6. Now, unless you're going to bed at 8 or 9, you're probably going to be going to bed hungry every single night, which really sucks. Um, I think it's a better idea, and I've found much better results when my feeding window is between 12 and 8 or 1 o'clock and 9 o'clock, and taking in my last meal right around the end of my feeding window. So... I usually will take in my last meal about 7.45, 7.30, and that way I go to bed full, I go to bed satiated, I go to bed not wanting or thinking about food, and it's much easier to fast in the morning hours. The body naturally wants to get rid of toxins, it's not as hungry, um, it's just a better time when you're active and doing stuff. Um, think about it like hunter-gatherer style. You're out all day in the morning gathering your food, and then at night you feast. You feel good, you get all the calories and nutrients you need, and it helps you sleep. So, yes, simple video. Um, improve your intermittent fasting by not doing those three things. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, please share this video on Facebook, and please subscribe to this channel. Much love, thanks for the support, and I will see you soon. Peace.